Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Ark Survival Evolved Let's Play. And in this episode, I do think I want to just kind of get everything ready to move into the other house fully. So I want to get like storage, fabricator, smithy, stuff like that. I have been... I went to the blue zone a couple times. Just in the entrance and mined up a few of those rocks to get some metal. So I've been smelting that up for a little while. Um, I actually don't even know if I have fabricator learned. I do, okay. So I'm going to need smithy, which obviously I've learned because I'm looking at it. Uh, chemistry bench? Alright. I'm going to need to make a bunch of stuff. Let's see, grill. Yeah. Now's when we're going to need all this. Uh, I think that should be good for now. But those are all in the fabricator, so structures, crafting. Alright, oh, oil. That's going to be interesting. I can make spark powder pretty easily. Crystal, I have enough already. Cementing paste, I can get really easily. Um, <clears throat> it's just oil. I'm gonna need to go. Oh wait, no, we have some in here. Uh, I was gonna say I'm gonna need to go massacre some tech creatures. I probably will because we're gonna need more for the grill. I actually don't even know if we need any for the chemistry bench. Let me see. Oop, cam. No. Okay. Because we are going to need, I think it's 50 for the grill. But, alas, I'll start working on making up this. So I'll get more stone. Because I threw out all the stone that I got because I didn't want to carry it back and maximize my metal count. But it's whatever. I'm going to start getting all that stuff together as well. I just basically got the metal ready before the video. That's about it. So, I'll see you when I have everything ready. Alright, so we have at least enough for the fabricator now. Put that in there. Just grab some of that. And crafting fabricator. Perfect. So, okay, I'm gonna just still need the smith. Yeah, smithy. I'm not even gonna bother making a mortar and pestle for over there, I don't think, because we're gonna have a chemistry bench, so. Don't really need it that much. Uh, I do have enough. Alright, so wood, stone, metal, hide. And we can make a smithy too. Perfect. So, I might... Okay, I'm gonna turn... Okay, I'm gonna turn remaining wood and fiber. Oops, not flint. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to make many... Yeah, just two, because <laughs> I don't have any more fungal wood, or just wood in general. Here. Uh, okay, I'm going to take all this over to the other base, or like the actual base, and place that down, and then come back here and get stuff. And I see a glow from a blue drop up there, or at least I think that's a blue drop, so I guess let's grab that really quickly. Oh yeah, and as well, when I was getting, gathering stone... I noticed there's like basically no creatures here. Like there's that spino way over there, which I don't even see now. Where did it go? Oh, right there. Yeah. So that spino over there, but like nothing else. There's that sarco way over there, but in this little like middle area, there's literally nothing, which is so weird because there's usually like a ton of stuff here. And I'm not going to be able to jump that high on this, on the crap. Ha. Huh. Yeah. Unless, oh wait. As I was say, unless I land on a mushroom. Which I might be able to do. Let's see. It is possible. Just whether or not it's possible before the drop despawns is a different question. <laughs> or is a different story. No. Okay, we're still on the mushroom. Come on, we're so close. Yes. No. Okay. Good. And let's grab this. Well, actually, I don't need the water jar skin, but this pike blueprint, it's craftable, actually. we It's not very expensive, and it'd be pretty useful for where we are at right now. It's like, I know I made a primitive pike, and we haven't even used it yet, I don't think. No, it's actually I used it to poke something. Don't remember what, but yeah. 
Uh, it's still having an upgraded pike would be pretty useful. And there's a green drop up there, I see it, but I'm just not even gonna try. Considering how much effort the, the blue drop took. Okay, I think I'm gonna have this wall over here as just storage. It's like, I'm gonna place those, but... I'll do that. I'll line everything up where you don't have to watch, because it'll take a while. I think I'm gonna put the fabricator kind of on one side of the door, and maybe the smithy on another. Like over here. I think that'd be kind of neat. And then over there, maybe the electri the stuff that requires electricity. But, alright, I'm going to line all this up first. And bring you back when it's placed. Alright, got everything placed. Just those two. That should be good for now. I definitely will need more. But, like, with the limited amount of stuff we have right now, that's fine. And then I put the fabricator there and the smithy there. I think that's good. I don't know. I like it. I kind of like, because usually I build bases with at least a three high wall than four high. But you know, I kind of like this two high here. It, it makes it feel more, I mean, it obviously makes it feel smaller, but it makes it feel more cozy. Kind of. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird, but uh, yeah. Whereas this, I mean, it's very open, which is how I like to build other stuff is pr probably pretty obvious. Because everything I build is very giant usually. But I kind of like this. It's, it makes it just kind of small and cozy. And I probably only like it because it's a departure from what I usually build. But I don't know. I think it's neat. And also, I need to make you a saddle. I'm going to do that. I completely forgot about that. But yeah, I'm going to go make, make a saddle for Nightmare. And uh, we can go pick stuff up and rip it apart. <laughs> I see the death and destruction has resumed in the river next to our base just as it was before. What I, I mean, over there, it's still pretty desolate. But right here is a show going on, I guess. So that's what I like to see. <laughs> but anyways, I think we have enough to make my... Or not. Oh, I need more hide. Okay. Well, because I am also need to bring metal over there. But... So you won't give hide. But... The Sarko will, if I can get the Sarko before you do. Oh. No, why are you mad at me? Why are you mad at me? I just wanted your Sarko. You look really neat with your blue highlights. I like that. In black and blue. Actually, I should smash with both claws. It does more damage. Fire, yeah. <laughs> I'm not used to clicking with right click and left click at the same time. Now, I should level melee damage on this guy. It's, yeah. Kind of bad. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Well, I guess I will now. You know, Polymer might be nice, actually, now that I think about it, to keep because we're going to need it for the chemistry bench. So I'm going to keep. I'm gonna hold on to it for now. And you gimme give gimme give your hide. I need hide, so give it to me. Gimme your hide. There we go. That's what I like to see. Alright, well now I should have enough for Megalosaurus saddle. If I grab it off of you first. I'll take those two. Uh, yeah, that should be enough. Saddles. Yup. Perfect. And now I will... Actually, I'll just bring that with me. I'll just ferry all... Actually, wait, can I craft this? No, I need wood. I will ferry all of the metal that I can over there. Because you have a decent amount of weight, but it's also not infinite, so it'll take a little while. It'll probably take a couple trips, but that's fine, because I want to keep all that stuff, too. You know what? Actually, wait. That didn't take up as much, but... Cause oh, it is easy. You're not even that full. Alright. Yeah, it is totally doable. There's also a blue drop right here that I spotted. You know, it's weird being actually excited about blue drop. Wait. 
You in the water? Or is it, is it broken? Oh no, it's behind the, the waterfall. Ooh. It's not that useful on this map, but you know what? I will take it. Well, actually, does it? Oh no, it does less. Okay. I mean, I'll definitely take it, but it's, I don't really need it right now. I guess if we tame a giant bee on this map, it'll be useful. But I, I honestly, I haven't seen a beehive yet. Usually I find them all over the place, over by the portal. But I looked, and I didn't find one. And there's another blue drop up there. What is happening? Usually I find beehives everywhere, and it's, it's like rare that I find any f semblance of a loot drop on Aberration. And I've seen three blue drops in this episode so far. And no beehives in any any video yet <laughs> so is it reverse of what happened last time I played on here and can I jump up there please or am I gonna have to go around probably gonna have to go around oh wait, no okay give me the loot give me the loot what level are you because I want to tame a parasaur too for the varying reasons because it has the alarm thing and that's actually pretty useful to have on aberration because of the amount of dangerous stuff on here are you serious <laughs> it despawned fine well because yeah that's another thing i'm gonna keep my eyes peeled for a decent level parasaur uh, actually wait there's another one right there Level 20, okay. But yeah, I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled for a Parasaur because, or Parasaur, not Parasaur. Because of the radar thing it has, it's nice to know when there's dangerous stuff near your base on this map. All right, I transferred all the metal and polymer and whatnot into here. Let's take a quick break from transferring resources and crafting stuff and go ride you around a little bit. Because Megalosauruses are pretty fun for a couple reasons. I mean, like like I said in the last episode, they're like the Rexes of Aberration, pretty much. 15, okay. Because, I mean, they do pretty good damage out of the gate. Because that's nothing to slouch at. Or it's not a slouch. And then, wait, may, I'm make sure you're not a good level. Okay. You can, if you right-click, you can pick things up in your mouth. Like that. You, you just kind of chew on them. Yeah. To do it like dodos. Whatnot. Yeah. You can also just carry them around. If you pick something up, like this Ovis, you realize you don't want to carry it around or chew on it, you just right click again and it does that and just lets go. So, yeah. Actually, what level are you to? 15. Okay. But yeah, you can pick up stuff, pretty fun. The main thing is just they do a bunch of damage. Which is why I like using them for the boss fight on here. They can also, I'm pretty sure you can pick up a Parasaur. Yeah, 35. What level are you? 90, that's getting better. And I see this green drop. Is this one gonna despawn before I get to it? Probably, but we'll see. There's a Tech Parasaur though. 66. Or is it where you, oh you're 15. Okay. Oh wait, this is over by the surface thing, because there's the zip line I placed there. Oh, am I not gonna be able to get up there without the crab? Oh wait, actually no, there's a I okay, let me figure this out. Okay. Oh nope. I was thinking because you hop off on the back of the Megalosaurus, kind of like you do on like a Rex and stuff like that. Alright, uh, I'm not going to be able to get up there without... Oh wait, I have zipline. Oh, that's not useful to me because I don't have Ravager. Whatever, it's a green drop, it doesn't matter that much. So I'm going to I'm gonna just get back to um, crafting stuff and transferring resources. But yeah, these Megalosauruses are uh, pretty nice to have on here. I didn't know Stegos could hit you off the back of creatures now, but apparently they can. It's kind of annoying, but give me your oil. Give me your oil. 
Thank you. I needed that oil. I see more oil up there. Oh, wait a second. That's max level for a tech creature. Ah, uh, yeah. Can I tame you, please? I want to tame you. Uh, I'm going to need probably more arrows. So, good thing I never put the narcotics away because I was thinking about it. Probably don't need more. I'll make 20 more. I have no idea how many this will take. Oh. What level are your friends? I mean, because that will only be one, like 150 regular. Because what it does for tech creatures is it, it calculates their normal level. And then it multiplies it by 1.2. And then it figures it out. To like what their what their tech level would be, which is why they're always wonky, because everything normal has a has a multiplier of five. Oh, that's a 145 stego. This place is just full of all the good stuff. Ah, uh, hmm. Well, I might have to double tape stuff. Uh, let me make more arrows. I was not expecting that. Uh, 50 sure. Well, no. Uh, 30, that should be better. And I'm most certainly going to need to use this one. Alright, well, which one is the 145? Oh, but I'm gonna. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knock this one out first. Because I don't want to accidentally hit it and kill it. If I'm going to try and knock out that Stego too. And I swear if I shoot it before it knocks out. It shouldn't be a problem here though because it'll fall onto the ground. And it'll be below the crosshair. But I, I bet you I'll still find a way to mess it up. Well, that's interesting. I wasn't even expecting to try. Okay, well, you're out anyways. Okay. And you the good one? Yes. Alright, so I'm gonna get rid of you first. Well, actually, I can take care of one. So get you in this claw. And get you in the other one. There we go. And just get rid of this stego. Oh my god. No! Alright, I'm gonna need to whistle you passive because I don't want it killing the 145. Alright, passive. It's annoying that they hit you off the back of a mouth now, though. You know what? I know it's gonna smack the crab. You stop! Where are you still on neutral? Oh, well, it's bloody now. Whatever. I'm just gonna... Because you're gonna try and hit me now. So I'm just gonna stand over here. And trank you for like this. Because this should work better. I just hope I don't kill it. Because it is kind of bloody. From you smacking it. <laughs> but whatever. If it dies, it dies. Not that big of a deal. I don't really need a stego. I really only would use it for berry gathering. Which would be useful, but yeah. Why are you attacking? You are trying to pick a fight, Roll Rat. I know that. <laughs> oh, you do have a headshot. Okay, I wasn't sure. It's like right in the mouth. Okay. See, this is why the crab makes taming things so easy. I can just stand here and it won't. Where did you come from? I love how on Aberration, whenever I'm taming something, a Parasur Theorem always shows up. It's just something that happens. Because it makes the ground shake. Or like, yeah. And it's loud. And yeah. It's just annoying. I hope I don't kill you, because you are getting kind of bloody. Because you're still mad. 
I think. It looks like you're mad. I was like, why are you moving? But it's because you're eating. No, I do have to say, at least Aberration isn't like the island, because the island favors lower level stuff, which is kind of annoying when you're taming stuff. Aberration is probably one of the better maps to find high level stuff on. From just playing through here and then past experience, because you seem to have a pretty good chance. It's probably like second to Genesis of the like story arcs. I mean, obviously nothing beats like Ragnarok and Crystal Isles, but like of the story maps, Aberration's probably like second best from just personal experience. You, oh, it's like what's happening, but you, you're eating. I don't wanna kill you, but you look pretty beat up, dude. Might just let the torpedo sink in for a little bit. Don't really have to worry about the Parasaur waking up, but in fact, you'll just be starving out, which is kind of what I want. Oh, it's out. Perfect. Okay, so... I don't know why those show up every single time. So I'm going to track all, so both of you show up. Move you away. And now I need berries galore. Mejo berries and all that good stuff. So. That's interesting. This kind of went from 0 to 100 real quick. But I'm fine with that. I mean it's nothing exciting to tame. Like more so the Carcanos and Ectosaurus. But it's I mean, it's definitely useful. Interesting stumbling on two high level things. In two episodes in a row. I wasn't expecting that. If only it was a Megalosaurus, because of the last one, but whatever. At least this time we actually have both things knocked out. I mean, I know it's vastly easier knocking these two out, but still. At least. Would you, do you mind? Okay. <laughs> Fine. That's one thing I do want to also try and find is a good roll rat. Because, like, I'm actually, well, eh. Roar rats are nice, they're not really necessary, but they're they're the wood gatherer for aberration. And they have a fun saddle where you can roll around and stuff. But yeah. A good roll rat would be pretty nice to have though. Oh hey, it's up! I guess I was just too far away for the little notification thing. Alright. So you are I mean, you actually have pretty darn good melee damage for a Parasaur. It's kind of funny. Uh, Alright, well, I can untrack you. I... Don't know what to name you. I guess... I'll take suggestions. I mean, this is going to be our alarm system on here. So, if that plays into it anyway, I guess. There's also a Bulldog. I didn't see you. Ten. Okay. Fine. And now just basically waiting on you. Should be fine. I might. Yeah, I'll just chuck these on you so they don't spoil as fast. Because I'll probably use those. And I, I mean, I'm definitely going to use those instead of the uh, narcotics that are pre-made. Or that I have made up. If I can help it. I might get rid of these Parasaur Theorems while we're here, but eh, we'll see. They're not bothering me right now. A few moments later. Oh, hey, it tamed. Perfect. Uh, I'm not sure what to name this one either. So, I guess I'll take suggestions for it as well. Let's untrack you. Uh, pretty good. I mean, 
it's a stego, so it's not nothing like insane, but pretty good. That's for sure. Now I will get back to um since I did what I initially came over here for and got oil. I'll go back over to base and work on crafting a, a uh, grill. I almost said stove. I don't think I'll, I'm gonna get the uh, the chemistry bench in this episode because it just, all the cementing paste. I have all the chitin, it's just a bunch of stone that I need. So, uh, and, and then it just takes a while to craft. So I think that'll probably, I'll do that between episodes and I'll probably do that in the beginning of the next one, but actually I need to make sure I don't need anything over here first. Let's see, grill. Uh, oh, I'm going to need the cementing paste that I cra was working on crafting up. Good thing I checked before I went all the way over there and then realized that. But, yeah, I, I will need to mine some more crystal, but uh, it's not that big of a deal. Just green gems everywhere on this map, and those give crystal. So, oh, and I'm going to need to make more of that. Oh, and all my chitin's over there, so I'm going to be bouncing back and forth. It's whatever. It's manageable. Okay, I made up some more cementing paste. There's more crafting up over there, but it's not that big of a deal. I also did have enough crystal just kind of in the smithy over there. And perfect. Oh, you know, I made a big oversight. I need gasoline. Um, okay. I have, oh, you do have hide. Okay, I'm going to go back. I, that's another thing I'm going to need over here. Actually, I should make some refining forges. I didn't even think of that. That's not that hard, but I'm gonna still go back because I have all my resources over there. But yeah, I need to refine some gasoline. I didn't even think about that. I also figured while we're over here, let's make Parasaur saddle and Stego saddle. If we can, at least. Oh wait, those are both inventory. Yeah. I'm gonna need, well, I'm not gonna need more wood for the Parasaur saddle. I am, oh, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna need more hide. Well, actually there's a bunch of hide in there. So that'll be fine, but I am gonna need more wood, so I'll go get that, but I can put this on you really quickly so it's not taking up as much weight in my inventory. Okay, well, this should be way more than enough now. No? Still, oh my gosh. Now we have enough, but, <laughs> oops. Plus this is, actually, I think that's as much refined as I can get it, because it won't, it refines three oil, I think. Or actually, no, yeah, three. Or, well, something. I can't math. I'm also going to bring some wood with me so I can repair my uh, hatchet, because it broke. Actually, what does this need? Okay, I'll bring all that. Okay. Okay. Now we should be good. Actually, I'm going to give you your stego saddle as well. So it's not taking up space. Or taking up weight in my inventory either. Okay. So, first let's craft this up. Actually, oh, I don't need wood in there. Cooking. And while that's working, let's put all this. Oh, I need metal from here. No big deal. Just take that and craft that, and I can place this. I'm gonna do this. Hmm. Well, ha. Huh. I could, cause it's not urgent. I will need it though. But right now, I've just been cooking it in the campfire I have over there, cause I want all the electrical stuff here. And I was thinking, cause there's no way. Okay, we place the storage boxes back, but there's no way to get them all the way here. So I was thinking I could place them all the way out and then just fill in the extra space with the grill. The only thing with that is I can't place the grill yet because if I place it then there's just going to be a space like over here. So I'd have to wait. I think that's what I'm going to do though because I, I like the idea of having it there. So I'm just going to leave it in here so I know where it is. And yeah also okay. You, I'm gonna just honestly put the parasaur on the roof. Oh, but you're gonna need berries. 
I gave the berries to one of the ravagers so they wouldn't spoil as fast. Just take all those. Uh, can I use your? Oh. All right. Well, <laughs> using the crab to get on the roof. That's what I like to see. Anyways, I'm gonna put you right here. Kind of probably have you sit like this. Give you health. Sure. Uh, you're on passive, right? Yep. All right. Alert settings. Enable turret mode. All right. Now. If there's anything dangerous, what did you detect even? Oh, oh, it's gonna detect the fish down there. No, you were too close. That means it's gonna just always be going off. All right, I might find a better spot, but right now that works. Cause yeah, last time I built on Aberration, when I built right over the water, I had the Parasaur sitting on the bridge and it was always detecting otters and piranha in the water and it just was always going off. It's kind of annoying. But whatever, not much I can do about it right now. I'll, I'll figure out a better spot for it for sure, though. And let's just get you out. Give you some berries as well. There we go. And yeah, I think... That will probably do it for this episode, at least. So, anyways... Did actually more than I was initially intending, because I wasn't expecting to tame anything today. I was thinking it'd just be smithy, fabricator, grill, and maybe possibly chemistry bench. But that you know, that didn't happen. That kind of got replaced by the tames. Anyways, whatever. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.